Hi guys, my name is Tom Antos and today I'm going to show you how to set up and, and use the, the Canova crane. Uh, I already did a review of their slider. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you can check out the link in the description of the video or on my website, tomantosfilms.com. I uh, really love their slider and, and what's cool is they, they kind of created their whole system uh, where you sort of add uh, things onto their slider. So you can, you can turn the slider into a motorized slider. Uh, there's another review I did of their uh, motorized uh, pan and tilt head. Um, and, and little other accessories for it. And then you can also uh, take this slider now and convert it into a crane. And so, you know, that's basically what we're going to do today. And to convert it to a crane, uh, this is what you, what you need to get. Uh, basically everything, all the pieces come in this, in this case. Um, and yeah, let's just get started. So, so let's open it up. Okay, so this is sort of the main piece that everything attaches to. And, uh, and we're gonna have to put this on a tripod. So uh, I have my tripod up here set up. And uh, yeah, so in order to put this on, I gotta take out the, 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 the tripod head. Now you are gonna need a tripod that allows you to, um, to remove basically the head. And so, so that you, it can be either one, a tripod like this one that has a ball head or it has a, like a 75 or, or 100 millimeter ball. Or it could be like a flat one, but that has like a three eighths of an inch uh, screw on the top uh, and allows you to, to mount it that way. So not all tripods, you know, have that. But then again, the bigger ones, and you kind of, you're going to need a bigger tripod simply because it's, uh, it's going to be a lot more weight. The most of the bigger ones, uh, you know, allow you to do this. So, so yeah, we're just going to put this little bolt here on the bottom, put this through the bowl, and then we have this piece to tighten it. And you do want to, you know, make sure your, your tripod is level, otherwise the shots are going to be crooked. And you have a little bubble head up here that basically will just tell you if your, if your tripod is level or not. So this is the point to, you know, to do it at. I actually happen to have it pr pretty well leveled. I don't think I have to do any adjustments, so I'll leave it right now. Um, next thing we'll do is we'll actually take the slider itself and we'll attach it here. So let me grab the slider. So the slider is actually what, what's going to end up taking most of the, the weight of the, of the camera. So, you know, it's good that they're kind of using this because it's, this is usually the heaviest piece in, in the crane, you know, or, or in, in any jib. So by having it, you know, basically reusing the slider, it allows you to sort of avoid carrying that extra weight. So let's say if you want to take your, your crane with you uh, to some remote locations and you also want to take a slider, then you can this way just, you know, carry the slider and then the little accessories to kind of convert it into a crane. Uh, so you just, uh, this is how you attach it here on the top. I'll grab these two pieces here and they attach pretty easily. You just sort of slide it in through this, this opening here you see on the slot is the same uh, position as the screw. Slide it in and then just tighten this. And now we'll put it here underneath this slider. So then we just take this here and we put it in Sort of the same way as you know att attaching those two pieces separately. This this thing underneath is basically what, what's going to make sure that the, your your crane uh, your, your, is always basically you know pointing upwards or or staying level. So we can again put this down. Now we'll actually grab this thing, which is uh, this is where you're actually going to put the camera under, and we're going to attach the other the the slider and the bar underneath it to it. So just grab this slider here and uh, yeah and I'm just gonna put this in here again so the same way as at the other end tighten it and then underneath here I grab this other bar and just sort of feed it through and tighten it and you don't have to you know over tighten it and what i do like about this crane is that you don't really need any tools to to put things on and off so anyway so this is how it's going to look once it's you know works so you can see this thing always stays level and here the, bu the 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 bubble head up here actually shows me also of the if th this portion itself is is actually level and uh and this you know pretty much th this will be level if if your your main tripod is so you don't have to worry about it afterwards now we'll put this bar that goes on the other end and this bar is to sort of put your counterweight on it. And to mount it, it's pretty straightforward. You sort of feed it in through here. And first you've got to screw it in. Once 
once it's nice in there and you tighten this bolt here on the top just just it's sort of like a like it's a double safety making making sure that this doesn't slide out so now to mount the actual camera first we need to put uh you know uh, uh, our tripod head now uh, i have actually used this crane in uh, on, on a music video recently on uh, uh where you know basically i had the crane but instead of putting a uh, the, the you know the, the tripod head on there i put actually a wireless uh, remote head from senna and it's uh you know what's really cool about that is then i could just be pretty much standing at the back of the the crane and operating the crane you know from there or have somebody else actually operate it for me which is even better just kind of moving the crane up and down while i'm sort of sitting on the sidelines you know watching my wireless video feed and and just using a joystick to pan and tilt the camera which then really you know allows you to get some really cool shots because you really you know sort of you can put the camera really high up there where it's you know definitely out of your reach and you can still you know precisely you know pan and tilt it but for the, for today for this little example i'm just gonna you know use the, the the actual tripod head so just put it in through here and again most tripod heads are gonna have a bubble head in there too so you can sort of try to make sure that it is level and we're going to use the Sony A7S with the Rokinon 14 millimeter lens. Just put it on here. So once you have the camera on there, then we're going to go to the other end and put some uh, counterweight. Uh, actually, uh, before we do put in the weight, uh, you have to put in this little bar here in the, in the middle. Just feed it in through here. And we're going to use this cable. And this is there so that, you know, basically takes away some of the tension and you know from basically this this middle joint here because you know the crane like as you can see it's it is not one long piece uh so it could break or you know some of those here uh, the, the threads could get da damaged so we're pretty much going to use this this wire up here to sort of tighten up the the crane and then like i said just make it more sturdy so we'll clip this here onto this end there put this on the top here And here we clip on this under end. And as you can see now, you know, the wire is very, very loose. So all we have to do is just tighten up this, this part here. And you can test it out now by just lifting up the whole crane. And if you see that this part here doesn't bend, you know, like this way, that means that it's, you know, the, the, this, uh, this wire is doing its job, so. And, uh, you know, when you're actually setting up the, this, this crane, like once you have everything except the weights under, it is a good idea to just put, you know, like a little light stand or in my case right now, I'm just using a chair uh, just so that to kind of lift up the camera while you're putting on the weight. So it's just going to make it easier for you. Or if you don't have that, you know, but you have another person helping you, then just, you know, have another person hold up the, the, the crane. So once the camera is a little bit higher, I'm going to grab these pieces here and go to the other end. And the, the cool thing about this crane is that you can use, you know, standard weights and you have this little piece up here that you can put in. And that will, you know, you can put basically, you know, gym workout weights on the, this end and you can tighten it. But uh, in case you are, let's say, you know, like I said, going to remote areas and you don't want to carry all that extra weight, uh, then you can use pretty much anything else uh, as counterweight by using this, this bag that comes with it. Now, you know, uh, I, I shot one time in Utah, for example, and over there I literally just, you know, grabbed some rocks and whatever else I could find that was lying around. Uh, but also, you know, if, if usually if you're going to be hiking around with the staff uh, to some remote places, you're going to probably have water with you or water bottles. So if they're, you know, if, if they're not completely empty or, or if there's like a little stream nearby, you can just fill them up and you can use water bottles in here. And that, that I found works, you know, great as, as a counterweight. So that's actually what I'm going to use right now. I'll put this piece away. And the way it works is you sort of just feed this through here onto the back of the crane. And then use these pins to put it in through here and just come out the other end and then use the, the little rubber uh you know this piece of rubber to sort of you know loop it around the other end make sure that it doesn't fall out so we'll do the same thing up here on this end just feed this in through here and then here on the other end i just grab the rubber and sort of wrap it around and it stays now I'm going to put these, uh, so just some water bottles here. And like I said, if you don't have that many water bottles on you, then, you know, pretty much anywhere you're going to be, you know, in your location, there's always something, something heavy you can find. Uh, you know, e e even a rock, like I said. OK, 
can and we can just use this to sort of wrap around, tighten it. Uh, just Velcro these little belts here, make sure not, none of the stuff really falls out, out of your pouch here. And now you can see it's, you know, it's a lot easier uh, for me to, to lift up the crane, you know, and uh, if you could put some more weight, I, I would, you know, uh, maybe in, in like an actual shooting scenario, I'd probably go and find maybe some more rocks around here or something to put a little bit extra weight. But even with, with just these bottle, you know, bottles of water, it's, it's already pretty, pretty, you know, easy to operate it. And as you can see, you know, nice and smooth. Now, you know, now that we have the crane set up, I'm just gonna sort of test it out quickly, show you guys. Uh, just do a little shot here. I'm gonna have a friend of mine just sitting here on this, on this chair. Uh, I don't know, maybe enjoying a, a little brusky and, you know, and, and, and the view out there. And uh, yeah, we'll just see, you know, how, hopefully it looks like a, like a nice shot. And then afterwards, I'll show you some examples of me using the crane on a few other actual paid jobs. Uh, so you can see really sort of judge, judge the quality for yourself. Uh, all right, so now that we have the camera set up and, and the crane, uh, you know, I'm going to use like a really wide angle uh, lens to, to sort of get an opening shot here with my friend Paul. Uh, he's just going to be sitting uh, doing, you know, what he enjoys doing. And, uh, and the, like I said, we're just going to start off on him. And as the camera is going to go up, we'll sort of pan a little bit and reveal the, the, the nice view behind us. Uh, and, uh, you know, right now I'm going to operate the crane, uh, you know, completely myself, meaning I'm going to move the crane up and down and, you know, pan and tilt the camera. And when I say action, you can just take a sip of the beer, okay? And action. Okay, take another sip. All right. I think that, that that's going to be our shot for now. So, you know, a shot actually turned out pretty cool, especially considering that, you know, again, didn't rehearse it, just pretty much one take we did and, uh, and, uh, and how, uh, that's how it looks. Now, you know, uh, like I was saying, probably in, in a real world, you know, sort of production environment, you're going to have an assistant with you. And then, you know, the ideal situation is, you know, to have him operate the crane, sort of, you know, doing the up and down, left and right movement, while you can just concentrate on, you know, the pan and tilt of the camera, or, you know, uh, if, if, if you're using the wireless, you know, a pan and tilt head, uh, and like I said, you can mount pretty much any wireless pen and tilted on, on this crane, then, you know, then you can sit on the, on the sidelines and just sort of, you know, remotely uh, uh, operate that. Uh, th that I think just, you know, produces the best kind of results. So first I want to show you a few shots that I got on a music video that I shot in LA a few months ago. Uh, and that one actually, yeah, I used this crane with the, the Santa uh, wireless five second pen and tilt head. And as you guys can see, the, the shots look, look, you know, well, very smooth and, you know, uh, again, uh, I had a, a person operating, you know, the, the crane itself, so I did not have to worry about that. All I had to worry about is just the actual framing of the shots. So it really, really allowed me to get, you know, in a, you, know, sort of, you know, the perfect kind of framing for me. And there's another music video I shot about a month ago in New York, uh, and I, again, used the, the crane, but I didn't use the wireless pen and tilt head, I just used, you know, just, just a, the regular, you know, tripod ball. Uh, had and uh, and you know got really good results and over there you know I had to operate pretty much a crane myself because it was a very sort of a quick shoot uh, you know we weren't able to get you know a lot of people into the set we were shooting in this really really expensive you know hotel suite uh, and it just you know it, we, we technically were not allowed to shoot there so <laughs> we had to kind of sneak sneak in all the equipment and all the people in there uh, and so pretty much most of the shots I had to handle myself uh, when it came to you know operating the, the crane. Uh, but again, as you can see, uh, you know, by putting enough weight on the back, uh, you know, and making the, the crane, you know, movement up and down really smooth and easy for me, I could literally do it with, you know, push the crane up and down with my finger. Uh, it allowed me to get some really, really nice looking shots, uh, you know, and, and shots that, you know, definitely, you know, thanks to the crane, sort of add, the, you know, the, this extra sort of production value. It just, you know, I, I think whenever you're using a crane, it just makes your shots look a little bit more epic. Uh, here's these, you know, uh, tension adjustments, so you can sort of adjust just, you know, how much tension or how smoothly uh, you want the crane to go up and down. And this one is, uh, you know, for the pen, uh, basically left and right movement. So now, you know, for my final thoughts, uh, I am actually very, very happy with this crane. Uh, things that I like about it is that, you know, it's very solidly built. Uh, it, this kind of modular design allows you to really, you know, pack it up and into a small, you know, compact package. Again, like I was saying, if, for example, you know, I'm going somewhere in remote locations and I have to carry a lot of the equipment, just me or maybe, you know, another assistant, 
it's something that I know I can take with me and I can get not only, you know, uh, for the same amount of weight that I'm carrying, not only am I able to get the crane shots, but also, you know, you're pretty much carrying a, a slider with you and a, and a really good slider. So, you know, I can get slider shots, I can get the crane shots, all that stuff. I, I can even get some really nice time-lapse shots uh, if I brought, the, you know, the Canova pan and tilt head. Uh, they also have a, another motorized system for their crane, I believe. Uh, you know, if I get a chance to test it out, I'll, I'll for sure do a video so you guys can see for yourself. And that pretty much, from what I've been told, allows you to convert the crane into a motorized crane, which is pretty cool. And I think you can use that in a, in a time-lapse scenario too. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of poss possibilities with this, with this whole system. And like I said, it's, it's cool because it is such a modular design. So you can attach, detach things and sort of convert this in, into a, in many different configurations uh, without carrying all, all that extra weight. Uh, I guess the only thing maybe that I don't like, well, not so much that I don't like, but I guess maybe the one little negative thing is the fact that uh, the crane itself, you know, takes a little bit of extra time to set up, like you guys saw. And that's because it comes in all these separate pieces. So like I said, it's, you know, you're going in a remote location, that's great. You don't have to carry all that weight, but you will have to spend a little extra time setting it up versus some of those other cranes uh, that I reviewed before where it's just all one big piece. So, you know, it's maybe not as, not as comfortable to transport all that stuff, but setting it up is pretty straightforward. You just put it on a tripod and, and boom, you know, you're, you're ready to start taking shots. So that's really the only thing. Uh, but uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm very happy with the with overall with all the Canova products so far. And uh, if you guys want to find out, you know, all the details of where to buy this crane and all the accessories you need to convert it and all that stuff and where to get the best deal, then just check out my website at tomatosfilms.com. Uh, thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll